you have to realize you have to know you have to accept that all your excuses are lies they are lies all of them think about the things that you tell yourself the lies you use to rationalize taking the easy road taking the easy road and leaving discipline behind think about them you don't have time that's a lie you don't have support that's a lie you don't have the equipment or the gear lies you don't you don't know the best way who cares that's a lie or you're too old or you're too young of course you're too old or too young lie and there's you're too busy sure you are that's a lie and you're too tired or you're too sore or you're just plain not feeling it lies 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 and the list goes on and on and on and it doesn't stop if you don't make it stop so recognize recognize the excuses are not valid they are they're trumped up they're conjured up they're fabricated they're lies and how do you stop the lies you stop the lies with the truth the truth the truth will set you free the truth will stand and the truth will deliver you from procrastination and laziness and the downward spiral that comes with a lack of discipline so don't believe the lies believe the truth and the truth is you have time you have the skill you have the knowledge and the support and the willpower and the discipline to get it done so cast out the lies burn them down and listen to the truth and live the truth and go out and get it done and I think that overcoming the key to any overcoming any fear in my mind is what we talked about this a little earlier which is inoculation and this idea and I actually looked up the definition of inoculation and it's the introduce the introduction of a pathogen or antigen into a living organism to stimulate the production of antibiotic antibodies so you're giving yourself a little bit right, right. and you give yourself a little bit and you build up off there yeah. and and that's what you do you take the small doses so it prepares you for the bigger bigger doses and in the seal teams we do the same kind of thing we know where you're going to get inoculated against stress as much as they can stress you out in the seal teams they're going to stress you out there's going to be machine gun fire you're going to be used to that there's going to be explosions going off you're going to be used to that we used to do we used to do live fire machine gun drills and 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 uh i add drills immediate action drills we are maneuvering around we used to do that without ear, ear protection and sometimes so you get used to this crazy banging we don't do that anymore because it's not smart but uh but you do that to inoculate it's like what you were talking about earlier when that gun goes off you should be completely comfortable with it and there's a, a one of my favorite stories well not one of my favorite stories but one of one of the, uh, a buddy of mine who actually took my job i was a task unit commander and he actually took my job as task unit commander and a flashbang is a grenade that you throw into a room before you go into the room and it makes a loud explosion and smoke and then it allows you to enter in on the room when the people that are inside are now startled so you have an advantage well occasionally you know you have to open the door to throw the, the crash in there and occasionally someone will open the door and someone will run in by they, they didn't coordinate it well and so you open the door guy runs in and then someone throws the crash in so now you're crashing yourself it's not that big of a deal you got to get used to it but what happened with one of his new guys 
you know, that happened. So the door went open, the guy went in, and while the guy's running in, somebody throws a crash in there. The guy sees the crash, and he runs back out of the room, <laughs> which is not what you're supposed to do. <laughs> so this guy was the task unit commander. He goes, hey, uh, come with me down here. And so they walked down, and he brought him into a closet in the kill house and just sat in there and said, yeah, how's it going? And they just sat there in the dark and dropped like eight crashes at their feet and just blasted the guy because he realized you just got to get inoculated. Yeah. You know, you just got to overcome it. So that's kind of, I guess my, my theory here would be if you're afraid of fighting and altercations, go train jiu-jitsu. If you're afraid of heights, work on some rock climbing. climbing. If you're afraid of the water, time to swim it's time to surf it's time to get out there if you're afraid of pull-ups if if you're afraid of pull-ups do pull-ups if you're in squats do squats if you're afraid of public speaking go speak in public mm -hmm. if you're afraid to start a business start a business make it small and on all these what you have to do is you have to mitigate the risk and you have to ease yourself into it but you got to go for it and eventually you will overcome that fear but the hard part is you got to take that first step. Yeah. You got to take that first step to begin to inoculate yourself against the fear, against the fear of the thing mm -hmm. that's in your mind. Because that fear generally is in your mind. Yeah. That, you know, when you get up on stage to do public speaking, people are not going to throw tomatoes at you and say, oh my, you're an idiot. Get off the stage. No, right. they're, they're going to sit there, you know, so yeah. there's nothing to fear. Yeah. It's in, it's in your head.